here we are with another video and in this video i will be talking about the latest drama with the royal family here we go again Let's first start with Prince Charles and Camilla, and this is so good that it makes you think. Well, it seems that Camilla and Charles may end up in jail, but I doubt it. But they could be in trouble. You all remember when I said that Camilla wanted a divorce and their recent outings was for publicity to subside the rumors? Well, here's what's been said. It seems that upon she filing for divorce and the papers landed on a judge's desk when the court declared and Camilla weren't legally wed. Oh yes. Oh, this is serious. And it's funny because just recently we hear that Camilla has been cheating on Charles and not to mention we barely see them together anymore. I did a video about that. We'll leave the link below or you can just click it at the end of this video. Then we see them doing a PR stunt to subside the rumors. Then we hear that they weren't married in the first place. And if you think about it, their marriage wasn't very traditional aside from their divorces. It wasn't a camera inside the ceremony, as far as I know. Then you hear she wanted a $217 million divorce. I guess Charles just dodged that fat settlement because Camilla wanted the divorce to be public, but Charles and the Queen wasn't having it. Then on top of that, she was threatening to reveal all of their secrets, especially his. So to come to find out that they weren't married in the first place, I say he dodged one hell of a bullet, okay? I have to say that again. But Camilla can still reveal secrets about Charles. But if the Queen has anything to say about it, it would not happen. Because she made it clear that she doesn't want sharp tongued racist Camilla to inherit the throne with Charles. It was told that she asked Charles to send her packing with minimum fallout. It has also been told that Camilla is spilling the beans on everyone, even Prince William. You know, let's talk about him. Let's talk about William cheating. I mean, he has been cheating on her for some time now. I mean, I did a video about that as well. We'll leave the link for that below, or you can just check out the series. Anyway, it was first told that he cheated on her with some model. You know, well, let's just take a look at that clip. And seeing William and him partying with women. I mean, he did this quite frankly back then. I mean, it wasn't not too long ago where Prince William was seen dancing with some strange woman. I mean, you all have to understand, Prince William has never been faithful to Kate. And she knows it. But some women were ways to turn the other cheek to things like this. Hey, Queen Elizabeth has been doing it for decades. So Prince Philip even told his own son, Prince Charles, to do it with Princess Diana. Take a listen to this. Five years into the marriage, Diana said she suspected her husband had gone back to Camilla Parker Bowles, and she confronted him about it. I'm going to say to in fact, Diana claimed Prince Philip had actually given his blessing to the affair on the eve of a royal wedding, as long as Charles gave marriage to Diana a sporting chance. The princess was seething, frustrated, and trapped in a life she knew was a lie. She thought that he was. So do trust Prince William, whom has been groomed since birth for the crown, just like his father, Prince Charles, isn't doing the same darn thing. Police. They may be royalty and all, but at the end of the day, they're men and human. I'm sure Prince William has saw some of Meghan's steamy sex scenes from Suits. Heck, if you look at some... So, yes, you see William has been stepping out for a moment, but was there ever love in the first place let's take a look at their very publicized wedding let's take a really good look this time
William Arthur Philip Louis. I, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, Catherine Elizabeth. Take thee, Catherine Elizabeth. To my wedded wife. To my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thereto I give thee my troth. And thereto I give thee my troth. I, Catherine Elizabeth. I, Catherine Elizabeth. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thereto I give thee my truth. And thereto I give thee my truth. Okay, as you see, it's all very rehearsed and planned and just, anyway. So you see no love exchanges and endearing moments, just a standard tradition, you know, a couple jokes here and there. So could it be that their entire marriage was planned and picked as convenient and Kate quickly dropped some kids to seal their union? And let's face it, she seems to do it during every scandal. So with this recent news of Kate Middleton, you know, uh, one of her closest friends from her inner circle recently, you know, betrayed her because it was rumored to have been, um, they they were all like some kind of friend unit. I mean, Prince William was also close to this lady as well. I mean, I guess they, kids were playing together and they had like this kind of bond, you know, same inner circle, just one big happy family, if you want to call it that way. So anyway, I mean, it's getting so bad because it has been told that she is literally feuding with this former model, Rose Hanbury, because she believes her husband, William, is, you know, crushing on her. I mean, Kate is jealous of Rose and rumored to be jealous of Megan as well. I mean, have you saw, I can't say it again, Megan Markle on Suits? If you haven't, go check that out. You know, William has looked at it, just saying. Anyway, it didn't make things any better because William has always described Rose as a beauty but what's crazy is that Kate Rose their kids go back as I've just said they play together heck Rose and she attends the same events and raised money for the same hospitals but of course upon accident William he laughed it off and his lawyer slammed the rumors to the social media I mean like he was going to ever admit in the first place I mean who does that however this isn't the first time he's known to have cheated as I said before Kate knows this and she knew they weren't that in love in the first place it has been told that they barely have sex which brings us to this recent scandal in my opinion Kate better get ready and become a silent slash fake adoring wife and continue being a good wife actress in public because William isn't ever going to change I mean he's been raised to act like this as you saw in the video he has always had a wondering eye. If I was her, I would play the media just like in the TV series Scandal and have many affairs on the side. However, if I was a Hollywooder, you know, like Hollywood star or just plain a citizen, oh, he would have been gone years ago. Screw that. You know what I mean? But this is a whole different ball game. But all of these scandals seems to come out when Harry and Meghan finally move into their own new house. I guess they couldn't hide their secrets and affair behind Meghan and Harry any longer. Hey, you can't make up something you don't witness of, you know, and have alleged evidence that you have witnessed it. You know what I mean? Especially with them being in a new house, with a new staff, the bird is up, their closet is spilling, and William and Kate, marriage secrets are about to go viral. Watch. Well, could this be karma for... Um, William trying to destroy Harry and Meghan's union before they move because he didn't want Harry to move in the first place. Tell me what you all think below.